Hey guys, this should be a quick video to show how to run this Angular 9 JWT authentication front end with this ASP.NET Core JWT back end. Both of the example projects are covered in detail in these two tutorials that I'll link to in the video description below. Before starting, you should have your machine set up to support developing applications in Angular and .NET Core. If you haven't done that yet, there are links, one in this post, to an Angular setup development environment uh, tutorial, which covers uh, the details of the tools you need. And from this .NET Core tutorial, there are instructions here about the tools you need, as well as a link to a detailed post there. Once you have the, that set up, we can get started. So to start off, I'll uh, download and run the API. So I'll jump over to GitHub on this link here and copy the repo URL here. Open a command window and navigate to the projects folder that I created earlier. And with the command git clone, pasting in the repo URL, I'll download the code and cd into the project folder and using the .NET Core CLI or run .NET run to start the API. And it's as simple as that. Our .NET Core API is now up and running and uh, listening on localhost port 4000. Okay, moving on to the Angular front end. I'll jump over to GitHub to get the repair URL for the Angular project so we can download that code and opening up a new command prompt cd into projects folder and git clone the angular project and cd into that folder and I'll use the npm CLI, the node package manager run uh, npm i to install all of the node.js package dependencies for that project Next, I'll open this project in Visual Studio Code by running the code command and passing it the current directory, the dot. It's because by default, the example application runs with a fake backend, so it can run without a real API. We want to remove or disable the fake backend so it runs with our real backend API that we have running um, with .NET Core. So I've opened up the app module file in the project and I'll remove the fake backend provider here and also at the top here since it's no longer needed save that and going back to the command window I'll run npm start to start the application Okay, this is our example Angular 9 front end. I'll open up the browser DevTools with F12 so we can see it. Uh, see the requests to our API when they get made. It contains a simple login form with the, user, the username and password for a hard-coded user that's in the API. I'll enter tests and tests to log into the API. And we can see down here that we've made a request to the authenticate method, or the authenticate route, sorry, of the API. And the request payload, it sent the username and password that we entered into the form. And the response is the basic user details as well as a JWT token here. On this page, the Angular app has made a Request a second request to the API to fetch all of the users in the API from the users route. So you can see this uh, request was made to the slash users route and it is a secure route so it's been made with the authorization header set of the JWT token that was retrieved from the response of the authenticate method and that's why that's returned successfully with the all of the users from the API, which is just our one test user at the moment. All right, that's how you hook up uh, this Angular 9 
front end with this uh, this .NET Core 3.1 backend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, please like or subscribe below. Cheers.